Hey guys, so does this look like a familiar site to you? Whether you've seen it on Instagram or Snapchat, this app is called Zipito. It's an app where you can take a selfie and it turns into a 3D avatar. There's also been rumors that the app tracks you and secretly records you. Well, I'm going to debunk all of that and review the app as well with a brief explanation. So on screen right now is the app Zipito. Now, I've already done the selfie part and I'm not doing it again, so I'm gonna go ahead and get right to the app review. Now, you'll be able to customize with gestures, which is like emotes basically doing all sorts of um, fun little emotes for your character. Some are free, some are quality watch ads, and others you have to buy from the item shop. Now, when you first start the app, you get 2,000 free coins and sometimes you're going to get rewarded other coins like probably two, three, four thousand, depending on it. Um, well, my friends took a look at this app. They're all, they're all like, oh, this is from Fortnite. Now, I'm not going to be that guy that says this comes straight from Fortnite because I don't want to be that guy because they're not originally from Fortnite. For example, the floss, you already know who that comes from, the backpack kid. And I, I don't even know what I'm looking at. But uh, otherwise, the, just don't think of it as Fortnite moves or anything like that. I'm not going to be that guy. But the, some costs and then others are just are just free and then some required to watch an ad. Now, fun fact, I did actually watch an ad to get one of the emotes and it doesn't work. I got an error. Now, one thing I want to point out is that this app is very, very buggy. For example, going to Lucky Spin, I can see that the screen is only halfway through and it just it just doesn't work. I mean, I can still spin, but I was stuck on the screen earning co while I earned some coins and it forced me to restart the app. Another issue is that even though I said um, don't show again for like probably the 50th time, um, the sad thing is is that I still ended up um, receiving ads and like ads to just buy new things and it's really, really annoying. Um, now there's also like Bitmoji based emojis. I'm pretty sure there's a keyboard for it. I'm not too sure. I haven't looked into this app too much. Um, now you don't find your friends via normal names. There is a special code that you have to put in. This is similar. This is more like a simplified version of Nintendo's friend code system because it is a six digit code. I think it's longer. I'm not sure, but it's better than a 16 digit friend code, but still it, you will require to give a friend code if you want to add your friends or follow them at least. Now, you can also customize your room, add walls, and things like that. And it's it's pretty much very customizable for your character. And then you can customize the glasses, the shoes. Now, your character doesn't originally come with shoes. It's barefoot entirely. And then there's also a pair of sunglasses you can choose. I, I chose sunglasses, because why not? And I even... Um, I even chose socks, but I don't have shoes. Uh, you have to buy them. Now, there's some sort of street pass thing that I've seen. I think if you walk across, if you're near anybody who's using the app, they will show up on your screen. I think this is location based. This isn't ad hoc or Bluetooth based. I'm not sure. So enough of the app review, I'm going to talk about something very important. And that is about the tracking rumor. To answer this question, I'm going to make this brief. No, it doesn't track you. Now you probably think, where's my source? I'll prove it to you right here. So first of all, if you go into Zepito settings, it doesn't ask you for microphone permission or location permission. It just asks you for your camera. And of course, the reason why it asks you for your camera is to take a picture. Now, just because it's camera access doesn't mean it's microphone access. It just gives you access to the camera. If it were to ask for video as well, it would ask for the microphone first. Otherwise, video would not be possible. And you may think that they can't hide this. No, they can't. Because according to Apple's developer guidelines, apps must request explicit user consent and provide a clear visual indication when recording, logging, or otherwise making a record of user activity. This includes any use of the device camera, microphone, or other user inputs. And even if Zepito were to somehow get away with this, if this was exposed, Apple would have to take a look at it real quick and if proven to actually track, Apple would either reprimand or remove the app 
and tell the developers to either fix it or get suspended from the program altogether. But who knows, but for sure, this app doesn't track you. I've actually tried it myself. I tried to see if there was any secret audio or anything recording and turns out there isn't any. So unless I can find a way that doesn't back up my, um, that, that kind of goes against my point, it kind of, this is kind of obvious here that it, the app doesn't track you. My quick opinion on the app, it's okay, but it doesn't really live up to me. I deleted the app. It's unfinished and it has a lot of bugs, but if you like it, go check it out for yourself. The app is safe. There's no tracking unless stated otherwise by an official such as um, Apple, but I checked it out myself and I do a lot of security checks on things too. So. The app is safe, don't worry about the tracking rumors. I think a lot of people said it was fake as well, but I'm not sure. But like I said, go check it out for yourself, download it, do what you want. Just remember that the app is very buggy and you will get frustrated. But otherwise, um, thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. Subscribe to my channel for more videos, app reviews, and video game gameplays. Um, next week is Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I will be live streaming that, so just Keep on looking at my channel for gameplay from there. Don't do not worry. I'm only playing multiplayer. I will not be playing story mode. I will not stream it. I will just play it in my free time, my personal time. You know, I will not. So no spo no spoilers there. But you can go ahead and check out my Smash Brothers Smash Brothers gameplay. Sorry, um, go, you can go check it out next week. Um, and one last thing, if you play Fortnite, um, don't forget to support me and support a creator. Whatever money you spend in Fortnite via V Bucks. Um, I will get a portion of it, which will help me support um, and make more videos. Um, just type in AJ for sure 125 on Supporting Creator. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next few weeks. Peace out.